Number one, if you're going to be a successful thinker, if you're going to be prosperous, then number one, you have to pray and you have to study the Word of God. You have to pray and you have to study the Word of God. Now, you think, well, Pastor, why is that? I can't even believe that you would say that. We should already know that. Then why aren't we doing it? I think 5% of all Christians actually read their Bibles. <laughs> It's not enough just to have it. You don't just learn by osmosis. I will lay my head upon the word like a pillow. And what is in it shall transfer into my thinking. No, no, no. You have to read. You have to listen. You have to read. How many of you know there's something required of you? The Bible says study to show yourself approved. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. We, ha we have to stay students if we want to continue to break new ground. That was good. I need to say it again. We have to remain students if we want to break new ground. Once you think you know it all, you're done. You're done. You might as well just call it quits. Go ahead and let's have a graveyard and a sing because you're done. Are you hearing me? You have kept yourself. You have set a restrictor on you. You've ever seen these NASCAR races? These, they call them uh, on these big tracks, they call them restrictor plate races. You know why they put restrictor plates on those cars, on those, on those engines? Because they are created and designed to run at a much faster pace, but they have to put restrictor plates on them so that they won't kill themselves. So that they'll stay at a certain speed, they have to restrict it. You have put a restrictor plate on your thinking. And you can't go where God wants to take you because you have, you have not given yourself to study to be a student of the word of God any longer because you already know it all. Don't you know, brother, how long I've been serving the Lord? Well, can I tell you, I've been serving him for a pretty long time. Maybe not as long as some of you. I don't know. But I know this. The more I, the more I learn, the more I understand I don't know. And then I also see things in Scripture like my understanding is unsearchable. So how in the world could I be so conceited or arrogant to say, I know what God is doing. Now, you might see a piece of what he's doing, but you need to keep pressing in to see more of what he wants to do through you. Oh, I don't need to go there. I don't need to go there. Because we got a lot of voices today that are acting like they know exactly what God is doing. Well, I'll tell you, I can tell you what he's shown me, but I can't tell you all that he, he sees. Why? Because I only see and know in part. And I can only give you the part I have. Uh, y'all aren't ready for this. Humility. We need more humility. We need people who say, I am a student of the word of God. I'm still seeking to see all that God wants me to see and to know all God wants me to know.